everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Sander Situations. I'm sure you're all familiar with it at this point, but would you like to do a quick recap of the game? Sure. Okay, so the red ones are chaos questions, so they're just any question. The um, green ones are pop culture, and the blue ones are everyday situations. Uh, would you like to draw a question first? Or would you like to answer? I don't know what call it. I guess it's this one. Okay. You're Percy Jackson. Who is your Annabeth and Grover? Logan is Annabeth and Roman is Grover. No, because like Grover no, yeah. is musically inclined. He plays like the, the he plays like the whatever he plays. Yeah. Is it a lute? Yeah. No, it's not a lute, is no. it? No. Either way. It would be Roman because he's more he sings and he dances and whatever. Okay, you're casting selfishness versus selflessness because Thomas couldn't make it to the, the filming. Who is the cast? Let's make Thomas just Bill Cipher for no good reason. I know it's just a very Janice oh thing. Because I just, that would change the entire dynamic of that episode. It really would. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would ruin everything. So for that reason only, Bill Cipher. <laughs> I would like to cast Logan as the kid from Home Alone. <laughs> like Macaulay Culkin now plays him or as a child? No, as a child. Him. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's gotta be the kid from Logan Home Alone. Logan just gets summoned and he just does the, the screaming yeah, like instead he, of talking. I just want to change the entire episode. Like, <laughs> It's almost funnier with the actual dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> so this little child from Home Alone is just like, Ah, the David! <laughs> I think Roman is going to be Gerard Way. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason for any of this. Virgil's going to be uh, Andrew Garfield's version of Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> like Peter Parker's playing him. Yeah, but, but he's it's Andrew Garfield. By Andrew Garfield. Yeah, exactly. It ha yeah, it's that version. <laughs> okay, um, Patton is going to be played by uh, Sneezy the Dwarf. Is it just Janice left? Okay, um... <laughs> Let's see. Captain Hook from Once Upon a Time. Oh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's the cast. I wouldn't know what to make of that if I tried. That, okay. <laughs> yeah, same dialogue or different dialogue. I would just like to see them interact and try to tell Bill Cipher whether or not to go to his friend's wedding. <laughs> okay, and who would play Remus in the after <laughs> Candace Cameron Bure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanksgiving dinner. This is much tamer than the last one. Okay, I have a question. What's Am I question? bringing the side home to my family yes. for Thanksgiving dinner? Okay, that changes things. Because like, because Remus is the reason Remus. No, actually, not. the reason was going to be like Logan. Because I probably rank him higher if I'm bringing him home to my family. That's true, because he's, like, smart and put together and he stuff. He could be intellectual, yeah. Number one, Roman, easy. He's the, he's such a fun guy. Everyone would, he, he can't make it, like, every, he'd get along with everyone. Um, probably Patton second, because Patton is also just, like, let me be friends with everyone. Like, we'll have a good time. He'd probably bring some, like, really cute dish. Like, I don't know. He just, every parent would just love him. Ah, uh, probably Janice third. Yeah. Janice. Because he's a liar, but no one will know he's a liar. I was going to say, he might be like, I'm a doctor. I've got seven a good liar. degrees. Exactly. And they were like, wow, so that. impressed. Like, he doesn't have to tell the truth to be impressed. So I would be like, I don't know if he's the best company to keep. Like, I feel like I would put him higher than Patton, but I also wouldn't, because Patton, I know, would not be, like, would be, like, nice to me all night. That's true. Janice, like, halfway through, would be like, <laughs> He'd like, he'd like whack the turkey in your lap. He'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, did you want that? Or he'd like go hook up with your cousin. And he'd Dude. be like, you're, you're with me. <laughs> then Logan. Because Logan would be polite and he'd be nice. And everyone would be very impressed by his knowledge. And then probably Virgil. Because Virgil, I rank him low only because he's so anxious. He would not do well meeting that many people. And then Remus is absolutely last because, oh boy. He's what like, if you were going to their houses? Like, if I was just having Thanksgiving by myself, 
Friday's just going to like a friend's giving. Remus would rank higher for sure. Yeah, Remus would definitely rank higher because he would be party time. Like if you're gonna be like drinking and stuff. If you're going with like say I'm in college, right? Because we're both yeah. in college. If we were going to like a friend's giving kind of thing, oh, Remus yeah. absolutely would rank higher. Yeah, Remus would be it's like all party about time. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he'd bring like a beer keg and we'd have a good time. Yeah, everyone'd be like, yeah. Thanks and for Janice him, and I'd be would like, rank much lower. So I feel like Janice does not like people. Your Thanos. Who are the, each of the Infinity Stones? Okay, so time. Who's time? Logan. Reality. It's a reality shift. Like he changes realities. That's like the one Janus. he uses in Infinity. Okay, yeah. Actually, yeah. Um, space. Virgil. Soul. Patton. So who's power? Uh, let's say Roman. There's one that we're missing. The Forgotten Stone is Remus. This makes us look like we've never seen any of the Marvel movies. I literally yeah. read the comics and I just can't think of it. There's so many things to remember. There's like six, that's like more than five. five. Didn't do that. Oh, this is my favorite one that we wrote down. Oh, really? Oh. You're Disney's Hercules. Who is your right bicep? Roman. Drop the hat. Oh, whose hat is this? Mine. Your waiter hands you your meal and says, "Enjoy." You respond, "You too." Who's the waiter? And who are you eating with? Janice and I'm eating with Roman. Well, uh, they would both bully me after. Why would you want to be bullied <laughs> after? <laughs> I'm not a masochist, I just want to see how much pain I can take. Why wouldn't you pick, like, Virgil? Virgil would not come for you at all. Virgil would be worse. Virgil would just do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> really need that. It's like, it's like when parents are like, I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. That's Virgil's vibe. I don't I need that. <laughs> I used the wrong. No. Your, your dipper. Who is Mabel, Pacifica, Grunkle Stan, Seuss, Wendy, and Bill? Oh, I love Gravity Falls. Okay, my Mabel would probably be Roman. <laughs> Janice would be Pacifica. But then who's Bill? Oh, I guess you would have to be Pacifica. Me? No offense. <laughs> yeah, Bill would definitely be uh, Janice. I don't know who stole the look from who, but there was definitely inspiration on one side. And I got their nifty little bow ties. I think I would be suit. No, but I'm Dipper. You can be Seuss too. I want to be. <laughs> I want to be Dipper. I may. Oh, Thomas can be Seuss. No, Rachel can be Dipper. Um. <laughs> Pat can be Seuss. Who's Rachel? <laughs> Thomas can be Seuss. He's got Seuss vibes. Actually, Remus would be I was a, gonna a say. Uncle Stan. Because out of any of us, yeah. Remus would have a, a, a secret, and he has a secret twin. But he's the secret twin. And then Virgil would definitely be Wendy. Yeah. You're getting matching tattoos with one of us. Who is it? You. Me? Logos. Ah! <laughs> we could do our logos. Oh no. You're the president. Oh no. I would be a good president. <laughs> A Candyland? Who is the vice president and who are you running against? I think you'd be my vice president. Gotta be honest. Janice would run against me. Oh, picking up trash at the beach. Uh, Virgil. He would stay on task. No one else would. This is why. <gasps> like a beach socks! <laughs> We're back. Janice brought us some tea. You made oh, us some nice tea. I think yours is all gray. And mine is in a dad mug. It says you are the man, I am the man of this household for sure. All right. My 
I was peppermint. Oh, I want peppermint. It's whose turn is it? Uh, I think it's your turn to ask a question. Huh. I almost have a tickle in my throat. <coughs> Bummer. Oh, we died. Not even cool, guys. We're like the whack Charlie We're Brown ones. ones. <laughs> Alright, ready. Okay. You're Thomas. Who are Joan and Talon? <gasps> okay, Remus is Joan <laughs> and Virgil's Talon. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Your Zeus, who do you cheat on Hera with first? And who's Hera? Let's see, I'm Zeus, okay, so. Who's Hera is a tough one. Cause Hera's not nice. Hera's not nice. In Greek mythology, she's kind of low Hera might be Janus. Oh. And then I'll cheat on, I'll cheat on Janus with um, Logan. <laughs> simp hours. It's simp hours. Great. Have to grab things with ghost hands. Yeah, it really sucks that we just go through everything. Yeah. A night on the boardwalk. Okay, um, actually, so I think I would bring Pat in for sure. Um, okay. because he would like buy me ice cream, we'd play like the carnival games. I'd also bring Roman because Roman would probably like ride any roller coasters, so I'd probably put Roman before Pat, and if I wanted to have like a night of like thrills and stuff, then Patton, then honestly, then Remus. Um, I feel like Remus would be fun on a boardwalk. Yeah. And then probably Virgil, um, and then Logan, and then Janice, because Janice just seems like that would not be his vibe at all. He'd literally be like, "When can we leave? When can we go?" Like he just would be so tired of it. So yeah. Okay. Well, this is a chaos one. <laughs> you are in the eyeball. Who are the three fates? Okay. Let's see. So I'm one shared eyeball. So I feel like this is not a question so much as to who the fates are, but um, whose face would I want to reside in? Yeah, I, like, but I don't mind occupying. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's see. I think I'm gonna go off track a little bit here. Oh. I'm gonna say Virgil, Janice, and literally anything that the orange side could be. Oh, creepy. But yeah, makes sense. Check out our videos on that if you want to hear more. All right, last question. <laughs> Ghost hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's set the scene for this one. It snowed. All right, you're shoveling your driveway. Okay. Thank you. Like that was really, I am, that was so imaginative. Are you there? <laughs> I, I, all the senses that you can have as a ghost, so I can't feel anything, but. Um, well, yeah, because we're ghosts. Boo. Let's see. Boo. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ah. I, okay, so shoveling a driveway, Roman, number one, he is the most loyal out of all of them. He would stay with you, do it from beginning to end. Second, okay, this might be controversial, but Logan. The controversy, oh, <laughs> trembling. Because Logan, I feel Rachel, like- Rachel, don't, don't bring politics into this. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I think Logan, because Logan would also be like, okay, this is a task and we have to finish it. I only put Roman higher because Roman would make it fun. Yeah. Um, then Virgil, because Virgil also, I feel like, would feel bad leaving you. And he'd play kickin' music. And then, <laughs> um, and then Patton, because I feel like Patton could get distracted, but he'd always continue to help you. Like, he'd come back out and be like, I made hot chocolate, but I'll help you. Or, like, you take a, you stop, because I took a break, so you take a break. Yeah. Um, then... Oh, then Remus. Actually, no. Actually, I'd put Remus higher than Patton because as hard as he is to control, Remus would be like a machine. 
if you like baited him correctly, if you're like, Remus, I'll give you a dog bone at the end of this, he'd be like, all right, I'll do it. And then Patton, because I feel like Patton will get distracted. And then Janice, because Janice hates, he's a snake. He hates the cold. He just would bitch the whole time and wouldn't help me. Yeah. <laughs> Three, two, one, and scene. Oh man, that was a that was a great a good video. Post that tomorrow. And um, all right, all right. So I think we should just push this frame out a little bit more. One, two, three. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, we got one last question of the day. All right, you are on America's Got Talent with all of the sides. Each of you have a specific talent. What is your talent and what are the sides' talents? Okay, um, I think, um, I don't really think I have a talent per se, but if I did have a talent, I think it would just be to like, play only Smash Mouth on a recorder. Well, very impressive, certainly. Uh, unfortunately, I think I would be doing some sort of slam poetry. <laughs> um, all right, so what do you think the size talents are? I think Virgil would read poetry with you. Like, you could just read Thomas's middle school poems. <laughs> Fool of you assume I would ever set foot on the stage alone. The spotlight is not made for everyone. And what would you do, Christy? A puppet show? Of course not, America's Got Angst. I would do my poor song, three act, one dance break show. And I've already started working on the script. You know you only have four minutes, right? Okay, this is not a Q&A, you guys. Yeah, like, enough from the peanut gallery, thank you. If you guys are gonna stay, just go interject. Anyway, what do you think Patton's talent would be? I heard my name and I just wanted to know what you guys were up to. We were just discussing what everyone's talents are. Oh well, I gotta say, I play a mean fiddle. Of course you do. Anyway, I think Logan's talent would be something along the lines of a mad scientist thing, where he would add different chemicals to each other and make them explode on stage, that kind of thing. Not the terminology I would normally put forth, but that is, as the youth say, no cap. That barely works, Logan, thank you. Hi, <sighs> Logan. Oh, wow, I held my breath for a while. And since everyone else answered, what is your talent? You know what my talent would be. No, we, we literally don't. Ventriloquism? Arson?